depths of space, where the darkness is endless and the silence is deafening. A small spacecraft drifts aimlessly beyond the reaches of our solar system. It's been traveling for over four decades, carrying with it the hopes and dreams of an entire civilization. This is Voyager 1, humanity's most daring mission to explore the unknown. But what lies ahead for this intrepid explorer? Will it discover new worlds and new life forms, or will it simply fade into the vastness of space? Join us as we embark on a journey like no other, one that will test the limits of science and challenge our very understanding of the universe. Strap in tight and hold on for the ride of a lifetime as we uncover the secrets of Voyager 1's epic voyage. Let's rewind the cosmic clock and talk about the launch of Voyager 1. It was launched into space on September 5, 1977, from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It was part of a twin mission, alongside its sister spacecraft Voyager 2. The two spacecraft were designed to explore the outer solar system and gather data about the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. From its encounters with the gas giants to its historic departure from our solar system, We'll explore the incredible journey that Voyager 1 has undertaken since its launch over four decades ago. But before we do that, let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer audacity of this mission. Sending a spacecraft hurtling through the depths of space is no small feat, but Voyager 1 has proven that it's possible to push the boundaries of what we think is achievable. And as we continue to follow its journey, we can only wonder what other wonders lie ahead for this intrepid explorer. As Voyager 1 cruised through the cosmic neighborhood, it made its grand entrance at Jupiter in March 1979, a real milestone considering it was the first time we humans got an up-close look at the gas giant. Now, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of what went down during Voyager 1 as Jupiter flyby. First off, let's start visuals. It snapped 19,000 images of Jupiter, giving us a front row seat to the planet's swirling clouds and those wild, tumultuous storms. That close-up shot of Jupiter's great red spot, a storm that's been raging for over three centuries. But wait, there's more. The real game changer was the discovery of Jupiter's massive magnetic field. This magnetic field revelation threw a curveball at scientists, making them rethink everything they thought they knew about gas giants like Jupiter. After its jaw-dropping encounter with Jupiter, our trusty spacecraft set its sights on the ring wonder of our solar system Saturn. In November 1980, Voyager 1 made its approach to Saturn, and it was truly a sight to behold. The spacecraft didn't just swing by, it got up close, diving deep into Saturn's cosmic neighborhood. This was a big deal back then because, at that time, we were still unraveling the mysteries of our ring neighbor. Voyager 1 was on a mission to spill the secrets of Saturn. Voyager 1's flyby of Saturn was nothing short of breathtaking. The spacecraft captured stunning images of the planet's iconic rings, revealing new details about their structure and composition. Ever wonder what those rings are made of? It played space detective and found out that the rings are mostly made of ice particles and rocky debris like a planetary snowstorm that never ends. One of the standout moments of the Saturn venture was the discovery of new moons. Voyager 1 added some names to Saturn's moon roster, like Pan and Atlas. Now, let's talk about Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Voyager 1 peeked through the haze surrounding Titan and uncovered some fascinating stuff. It detected a thick atmosphere and even hinted at the possibility of lakes or seas made of liquid methane or ethane. Who would have thought Saturn's moon had potential lakes? That's pretty fascinating, right? Well, Saturn was just one stop on Voyager 1's interstellar road trip. And there's more to come. Alright, folks, let's talk about a moment in space history that'll make you contemplate your existence. 
It's 1990, and Voyager 1, having aced its store of Jupiter and Saturn, is about to drop some profound wisdom on us. Here's the kicker, Voyager 1, drifting away from our solar system, turned its camera back towards Earth. Carl Sagan, a renowned astrophysicist, had this profound idea. He suggested taking a snapshot of our home planet from this unimaginable distance. The result, a tiny, almost insignificant dot in the vastness of space Earth, our pale blue dot. Imagine it's Valentine's Day 1990, and Voyager 1 is about 4 billion miles away, looking back at us. That snapshot wasn't about pixels or high resolution. It was about perspective. That tiny dot. That's us. Everything we know. Everyone we love. And every story ever told, all crammed into that pale blue dot. Now, let's get deep. Carl Sagan, in his reflection on this image, said, That's here. That's home. That's us. It wasn't just a photo. It was a reality check. All our triumphs, struggles, and the entire history of humanity played out on that minuscule stage. But wait, there's more. Let's fast forward to the late 2010s and talk about Voyager 1's grand finale, the interstellar mission. After its stellar performance at Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 wasn't ready to call it quits. It had bigger plans. On August 1, 2012, Voyager 1 officially left our solar system. After a cosmic selfie, Voyager 1 continued its journey into interstellar space. It left our solar system's neighborhood and became the first human-made object to venture into the great unknown between the stars. So, while we're pondering our existence, Voyager 1 is out there, carrying a piece of us into uncharted territory. Voyager 1 is still doing its job. It's sending back data about the conditions out there, telling us what interstellar space is really like. It's like having our very own space reporter, giving us updates from the frontiers of the galaxy. But there's a catch. As Voyager 1 journeys deeper into interstellar space, it's getting farther and farther away from us. The signals it sends back take more than 21 hours to reach Earth. Imagine waiting a whole day for a text that's the space communication struggle right there. Voyager 1 is on a trajectory to pass near another star in about 40,000 years. It's like the slowest drive-by in history. So, here's a thought. What would the universe be like when Voyager 1 finally reaches that star? Can you even wrap your head around the time scales involved? As we reflect on Voyager 1's interstellar journey, it's a testament to human curiosity and our ability to push the boundaries of exploration. So, who knows what Voyager 1 might encounter as it continues its lonely trek through the cosmos. And that wraps up our journey through the incredible adventures of Voyager 1. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the wonders of space exploration, don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below.